All right, so this lesson is writing and solving multi-step equations. The success criteria is I can apply properties to produce equivalent equations, I can solve multi-step equations, and I can use multi-step equations to model and solve real-life problems. Now the key idea here says to solve multi-step equations, use inverse operations to isolate the variable. Now, that means that we're going to do the reverse order of PEMDAS to solve our equations. But there's also going to be uh, a couple of twists in here. There's going to be like terms that we need to combine. There's going to be groups with parentheses or other sort of uh, brackets that we need to simplify by using the distributive property. So the order that we want to do things is we're going to simplify our equation. So that means we're going to distribute and combine all like terms first. Then we're going to cancel out any addition or subtraction. And then we're going to cancel out any multiplication or division. So we're going to solve the equation 3x plus 15 equals 24. So the first question I'm going to ask myself is, are there any parentheses? No. All right, so I don't, I don't need to do the distributive property. Are there any like terms that I need to combine? Well, I have 3x and I have 15, but these are not like terms because this is an x term, this is a constant. So now I can just cancel things out in the reverse order of operations. So I see I have some addition here. So I'm going to cancel out this addition. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract... 15 on the left side. But remember, if I subtract something on one side, I have to do it on the other side in order to keep the equation true. So I'm going to subtract 15 on the right, and then I get these 15s are going to cancel. So on the left, I'm going to get 3x equals, and then 24 minus 15, well, that's 9. All right, so now I have 3x equals 9. Okay, well, this is just a one-step equation. And I have 3 being multiplied by x, so to cancel out multiplication, I can divide. Or you can multiply the, by the reciprocal of 3, either way. And once again, if I am doing an operation on one side, I have to do that on the other side to keep that equation true. And these 3s are going to cancel out. You can cross them out if you'd like. So we just get x. And then 9 divided by 3 is 3. And if you'd like, you can plug this in to check. 3 times 3 for x is 9. 9 plus 15 is 24, so we know our answer is correct. All right, so for our next example, we have 8x minus 6x minus 25 equals negative 35. So I don't see any parentheses in this equation, which is good, but I do see some like terms that I need to combine. So before I can cancel out any operation on both sides, I have to simplify the left side. And just because I'm simplifying the left side, I don't need to simplify the right side because I'm not changing the value here. I'm just rewriting the exact same thing in a different way. So here I see my like terms, and remember, like terms are terms with identical variable parts, and terms are broken up by addition. And remember, we can think of both addition and subtraction as addition, because all subtraction is, is um, adding the opposite of this. So this 8x is a term, and then this negative 6x is a term, this negative 25 is a term. Okay. So the like terms here are the two with the x uh, as a variable, so the 8x and the negative 6x. Notice how I'm including the sign with the uh, term, okay? So I have 8x and negative 6x. Well, this is just the same thing as 8x minus 6x, which is 2x, okay? So these, these two terms simplify to 2x. Now I'm gonna bring down the rest of the equation. So now I just have a two-step equation. So what I'm going to do is look what's happening to my variable. It's being multiplied by 2, and I'm subtracting that entire x term by 25. So I'm going to cancel out this negative 25 term first and then deal with the 2 after. So to cancel out this negative 25, I'm going to add 25 on both sides. These 25s are going to cancel out, so I'm just left with 2x on the left side. And then here I have negative 35 plus 25. That's going to give me negative 10. All right, so now I have 2 times x to cancel that multiplication. I'm going to divide by 2. And remember, that needs to be on both sides because if you do an operation on one side, you have to do it on the other side to keep the equation true. And now I'm going to simplify. So I'm going to get x equals negative 5 because negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5, and we are done. And you can plug this in and check if you want. If you went up here and did 8 times negative 5 minus 6, times negative 5 minus 25, that should equal negative 35, and I'll let you check that on your own. All right, so for this equation, we have 
2 times quantity 1 minus 5x. When I say the word quantity, all I mean is uh, it's in a group, it's in parentheses. So 2 times quantity 1 minus 5x plus 4 equals negative 8. Now, this is the first time we've seen parentheses, and whenever we're solving an equation, um, one thing we can do is to distribute that out. So, and then I'm going to show you the other way to do this uh, type, of, type of question. So, uh, first, we'll distribute this 2 to every single term in these parentheses. So I like to draw the arrows. So this 2 is going to go to the 1 and to the negative 5x. And then I'm going to rewrite this as 2, because 2 times 1 is 2. And then 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. All right, and now there's no need for parentheses anymore. So now I can have plus 4 equals negative 8. All right, so now that I've got rid of all my parentheses, the next thing I want to check for is like terms. Are there any like terms? And there are, because I have two constants. I have a 2, and I have a positive 4. Remember, you always want to include the sign to the left. That is the sign of that term. So this is a 2, and this is a plus 4. So all I have to do is 2 plus 4, and I know 2 plus 4, that's 6. So I can rewrite this as 6, okay? So I have 6 minus 10x equals negative 8. Now, the order of terms do not matter. And the reason they don't matter is because each term brings its sign with it. So you could rewrite this as 6 minus 10x or negative 10x plus 6 because terms are broken up by addition. Anyway, now let's go back to solving the equation. 6 minus 10x. Well, I want to look what's happening to my x. It's being multiplied by negative 10, and then there's a 6 term in here. So I want to get rid of this 6 term um, using subtraction, since this is positive. So I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. And now I'm going to, these are going to cancel out, and I'm going to get over here negative 8 minus 6. Well, they're the same sign, so I'll add them and keep the sign. So I'm going to get negative 14. And then bring down the rest, so that's just negative 10x. A common mistake is a lot of people forget to bring down the negative symbol. Okay, so you always have to bring the symbol down with the term. Anyway, now I have negative 10x, um, and remember that's multiplication between the negative 10 and the x, so to cancel that multiplication, I'm going to divide by negative 10 on both sides. And I'm going to get x equals, well these negatives are going to cancel out, and you can either do uh, 14 divided by 10, which is 1.4. That's one answer. Um, you could simplify this fraction, which would give you x equals 7 over 5 by dividing by 2. And then you, either, you could convert this into a uh, mixed number if you want. So this is going to give you x equals 1 and 2 fifths. So you don't need all three of these, you just need one of them. All of these would be correct answers. Now once again, if you wanted to check, you could plug this back into your original equation. Okay, so there's another way to solve this equation, and we are not going to end up distributing. The reason I would do it for this one is I see that if I subtract 4 on both sides, which I can do, um, I'm going to get negative 12 here. And then I'm going to have to divide by 2, and negative 12 divided by 2 gives me a, an integer, so it'll give me a clean number. So what I can do here is subtract 4 on both sides. So I'll get 2 times 1 minus 5x. Once again, the 4s are going to cancel. And then negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. And now I'm going to divide the entire equation, so the entire left side and the entire right side, by 2 because the entire left side is being multiplied by 2. And these 2s are going to cancel, and that's it. This this dividing by 2 is going to get taken care of by this multiplying by 2. I, this has nothing to do with uh, the stuff inside the parentheses. So these will cancel. So I'm going to get 1 minus 5x, I can get rid of the parentheses because there's nothing left now, equals negative 6 because negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. So now I'm just treating this like any old equation. And this is from the last uh, example, so don't worry about that. So anyway, I have this 1 here, and this is a different term from my negative 5x term, so I want to get rid of all the other terms. So to get rid of 1, I'm going to subtract 1, or add negative 1 on both sides. So I get negative 5x equals negative 7. And now, all I have to do is divide by negative 5 on both sides. 
So I get x equals, now the negatives cancel out, and I get 7 over 5. And from the last example, the, the last method, you can see the other possibilities here. All of these would be correct, and you can do it either way you'd like. All right, so for this example, the instructions say, find the number x of miles you need to run on Friday so that the mean number of miles run per day is 1.5. Okay, so let's look at uh, the words here. The word mean, well, that is just the average. So you want all of these numbers to average out to 1.5. And remember, to take the average or to or define the mean, you just add up all the numbers and then divide them by how many numbers there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five total numbers, including this x here. And then we would, and so I would add all these up and divide them by five. So I'm gonna rewrite that like this. Two plus zero plus 1.5 plus zero, plus x. And then I have to divide all of this by five. Now to do that, I can draw a really big fraction bar. This big fraction bar means I'm dividing all of this. It's basically like this, there's a set of parentheses around what's on the top of the fraction, but you do not need to write them. Um, you can if you want, but you don't need them. And then since there are five days that we're including in this data set, we're gonna put five on the bottom. Now, we want this to equal the mean number, and we want the mean number to be 1.5. So I'm going to scroll over a bit, and this is going to equal 1.5. And now we're going to solve for x. So the first thing I'm going to do is combine the like terms on the top of this fraction. I don't see any parentheses, so now I'm going to try to combine my like terms. Well, 2 plus 0 is 2, plus 1.5 is 3.5, plus 0 is 3.5. And then I can't combine the x. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3.5 plus x all over 5 equals 1.5. I'm just going to scroll here. So now there's two things I can do. I can simplify this, because remember, this 3.5 plus x means I'm dividing both of these terms by 5. So I could break this out into two fractions, but there's an easier way. The way I'd recommend is since I'm dividing the entire side, the left side, I should say, by five, I can multiply both sides by five. So if I multiply the entire left side by five, that's gonna cancel out this five. And then I obviously have to do that on the right side. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put my parentheses around the entire left side because it's being divided by five. To cancel that out, I'll multiply the entire left side by five. And whatever I do on the left, I have to do on the right. So this will be times five. Now, these are going to cancel. Times the entire left side by five, divided by the left side by five, they're gonna cancel out. So all I'm left with is 3.5 plus x equals, and then 1.5 times five is gonna give me 7.5. Now, the last step is to just solve this one-step equation. So I have 3.5 plus x. To get rid of this positive 3.5 term, I would just subtract it on both sides. And these are going to cancel. So now I have to do 7.5 minus 3.5, which is going to be 4. So x equals 4. But since this is a word problem, I want a word answer. So if I go back up to the instructions, find the number of number x of miles that you need to run on Friday so that the mean number of miles run is 1.5. So I'm just going to write I need to run four miles on Friday. And now we're done.